then I'm going to start adding like different type of uh, physics object. Going back in model, push seven to go on top view. In top view, and now I'm going to show you how to do like those pseudo instancing. Okay, so I'm going to add a cube <coughs> here. Just move it a little so it's more clear and visible, and scale it a bit. <coughs> so uh, here, okay. Still outside. Okay, that should be good. Okay, so like I was mentioning, the hardware that we are using it, you know, do not provide us any way of really like uh, have having instance done in hardware. So what we're going to do is basically I'm using like the default like uh, Blender behavior, okay, at my own advantage, uh, rather than going more for a parent-child, okay, uh, kind of relationship. Because I want to use this parent-child relationship for something else that will be like integrated within the engine. I'm planning to add like a level of detail and you'll see like basically like the LOD. So basically you'll see that it's a lot more convenient to use the parent-child uh, relationship and for the LOD more than doing like instant sync. So in this case I got my cube and I'm going to push Alt and D. One, two, three, and four. And this time like compared to tutorial four I will not rename my object okay so basically it's extremely simple here I got Q and then it's Q1 0 0 1 0 0 2 3 and 4 so basically what is going to happen is 0 0 1 2 3 and 4 will take exactly the same vertices the same UV the same material the same everything that you need to render that Q okay and we'll just simply use it so if, if you have checked and dig deeper inside the file format you'll see that you got uh, you'll see that this objects will point to an instance name and this instance name is the cube so basically these cube have also their own property like uh, you know they can have their own scale their their own like rotation their own position okay but all everything that it's used okay to draw this one okay to draw that cube uh, will be taken from my cube here so I'm going to show you right now what I mean so I'm going to add also first of all physics so I'm going to go in uh, logic actor and I want this cube to be dynamic and rigid body okay uh, what is the difference between like just dynamic and rigid body if you enable rigid body you're going to enable like enable wait enable rolling physics so it means that imagine that you have a sphere the sphere will you know like roll when it's going to uh, touch like start touching the surface is going to uh, start rolling depending on the surface if you just you know say dynamic it will just like flat down when when you are like take an example the camera the the physics camera that I use I'm not using like rigid body so basically if I'm you know, like on the, on the on the slope, the hill here, I'll, my camera will not start rolling, you know, like basically for the camera, the object that I'm using is a cylinder. So when I'm climbing here, the cylinder will not like bend back and start rolling backward or something. So <coughs> that's really what, if, if I was enabled rigid body, this is what would happen. When I climb here, I would just like drop down and start rolling backward. So in this case for the cube, I want this cube, you know, to start bouncing around a bit and I'm going to specify the bounce that it's like obviously box here so I don't I don't need to do that for like the other one since here I'm going to use vertex paint and show you what I mean so I'm going to paint this one red so as you can see blender automatically like paint these one at the same paint this one also so for all the drawings, everything will be taken from Q that it's here. So you should pay attention to the way like your item, like your objects are uh, named. So I'm going to do a test run here, okay, just to show you what's going on. And let's go. And pay attention, you know, like to these cubes. Okay, now you can see that, oh, only my first cube Okay, like drop 
from um, I'm going to restart like just to show you like more properly pay attention you know to that cube here okay only that one you know have physics this is another thing is even if you got okay like instance pseudo instance these one the physic property is also belong to the object so if I want these one to start dropping I'm also going to put them as rigid body so this thing it's I think flexible enough okay for you to <coughs> of course depending on what you want to do use it you know like in a way or the other you can see that only one like in this case only this box can fall down and the other ones are static that are like already on the ground or something like that and I'm going to apply just make sure that everything is set properly bounce here and okay that should be all right then I will export again and now all my boxes will behave properly since I want them to have physics okay you see like now everything is fine and if I go with my camera here let's go hit them a little and you can see that all of them you know keep like I was mentioning the scale and the rotation and everything so that's kinda good okay and you can see that I'm bouncing them but I, I seems that I'm like entering them and this is because of my uh, Zenir actually I put the Zenir to one and I just realized that I shouldn't have done that so I'm gonna modify that too I'm gonna go back on my camera and change it go in object no it's in editing so and go change that for 0.1 so at least I'm going to have the feeling that I'm bumping and bouncing these objects so okay before before uh, running this I'm gonna go back here and I'm going to add like other different objects all the <coughs> all the default like bounce okay that we have here are supported by default at the moment we are using a static triangle mesh for uh, <coughs> our ground here and we're using of course box for these box but I'm going to use I'm going to add like other shape and just to show you, you know how it's working so I'm going to add like uh, iposphere UV sphere is like a bit heavy oops and here and I'm going to do the same thing okay like as I did before this is sphere and I'm going to go in object mode and one two three and four and I'm going to scale this one scale this one scale down this one and scale it up so once again only one object that is the parent and all the ones will take the same uh, drawing property I'm going to go here and I'm going to center everything in the middle I'm going to do the same as I did before just use vertex paint okay, just to show that there's something and voila okay then I'm going to go inside my logic and I'm going to assign that uh, these objects are going to respond to physics dynamic rigid body and sphere and same here actor dynamic rigid body bounce and sphere actor dynamic rigid body bounce bar, uh, sphere and this one is the last and sphere everything is set properly nice and I'm going to export again scripting select everything export nice and I'm going to run okay everything is rendering and behaving uh, properly 